Three years before his death, Ebert wrote, I know it is coming, and I do not fear it, because I believe there is nothing on the other side of death to fear. I hope to be spared as much pain as possible on the approach path. I was perfectly content before I was born, and I think of death as the same state. What I am grateful for is the gift of intelligence, and for life, love, wonder, and laughter. You can't say it wasn't interesting. My lifetime's memories are what I have brought home from the trip. I will require them for eternity no more than that little souvenir of the Eiffel Tower I brought home from Paris. Two days before his death, Ebert ended his final blog post by saying, So on this day of reflection I say again, thank you for going on this journey with me. I'll see you at the movies. On April 4, 2013, Ebert died at the age of 70 in Chicago as he was preparing to come home from the hospital, ending his 11-year battle with cancer. His death prompted wide reaction from celebrities both in and out of the entertainment industry. U.S. President Barack Obama wrote, Roger was the movies. He could capture the unique power of the movies to take us somewhere magical. The movies won't be the same without Roger. Robert Redford called Ebert one of the great champions of freedom of artistic expression and said his personal passion for cinema was boundless, and that is sure to be his legacy for generations to come. Oprah Winfrey called Ebert's death the end of an era, as did Steven Spielberg, who also said that Ebert's reviews went far deeper than simply thumbs up or thumbs down. He wrote with passion through a real knowledge of film and film history, and in doing so, helped many movies find their audiences. He put television criticism on the map. On April 7, 2013, a private memorial vigil with an open casket was held at the Chapel of Graceland Cemetery on the city's north side. In September 2013, Organizers in Champaign, Illinois announced plans to raise $125,000 to build a life-size bronze statue of Ebert in the town, which was unveiled in front of the Virginia Theater at Ebert Fest on April 24, 2014. The composition was selected by his widow, Chaz Ebert and depicts Ebert sitting in the middle of three theater seats giving a thumbs up. The 2013 Toronto International Film Festival opened with a video tribute of Ebert at Roy Thompson Hall during the world premiere of the WikiLeaks-based film The Fifth Estate. Ebert had been an avid supporter of the festival since its early days. Chaz was in attendance to accept a plaque on Roger's behalf.